Christian Horner made his first public appearance at the Red Bull car launch since being investigated for allegations of inappropriate behavior. While there was a deliberate effort to refrain from asking Horner about the ensuing investigation, journalists found creative ways to address the issue indirectly. Max Verstappen, Perez, and Horner were in attendance for the launch event. Despite the anticipation surrounding Red Bull's latest challenger, the elephant in the room could not be ignored with the accusations against the team principal still being investigated by the parent company. Horner was interviewed last Friday for what is believed to have been eight hours by the English barrister conducting the investigation at an undisclosed location in London. The inquiry has already collated the accounts and evidence from the employee in question. Yet, we don't know when the investigation will end. The latest signs suggest it might go on until the first race of the season, or even longer. Now, shocking new details about the investigation have emerged. The case may well have major implications for Red Bull's future. An explosive new report claims Horner offered to pay off a Red Bull employee who is alleged to be accusing him of sexual misconduct in the form of sexual messages. This goes far beyond the reported initial allegations, which suggested that it was to do with Horner's controlling behavior. Horner addressed and fully denied the allegations against him at the launch event. He stated that he couldn't disclose further details about the accusations due to the ongoing investigation. I obviously deny fully the allegations that have been made against me. There's an ongoing process and that obviously is being worked through at the moment. I can't talk further about that, but obviously working with that process. Neither Horner nor the woman have been suspended and have continued to work among 1,500 staff at Red Bull Racing. But Dutch newspaper De Telegraaf reported that Horner allegedly sent messages to the woman employee over an extended period of time. These messages were said to have been saved and presented as evidence to the external barrister running the inquiry after the woman made a complaint last December. According to the newspaper, Horner also allegedly did everything possible to cover up the matter. After allegedly facing the investigation, Horner reportedly offered a settlement for a whopping $800,000. Horner remains employed by Red Bull Racing for now, pending Red Bull's decision. They have obtained the findings of the independent lawyer and must now decide on the future of Red Bull Racing CEO and team boss. The Austrian arm of Red Bull GmbH, which originally belonged to founder Dietrich Mateschitz, is clear about Horner's future. He must leave. The problem, however, is that the Austrian arm, with 49%, cannot make a decision. The tie owner controls 51% and refuses to suspend or dismiss Horner. This power vacuum could have major consequences for the multi-billion dollar Red Bull company. The Austrian side suspects that Hornergate will become a breaking point for the entire company. The investigation itself into Horner is not going smoothly either. The investigation was supposed to be conducted by an independent lawyer, but that does not appear to be the case. The Thai owner, Horner's supporter, hired the lawyer, and the final report never arrived in Austria. The lawyer reportedly went on holiday without being contactable by the Austrian delegation. Red Bull advisor Helmut Marko was asked for his stance on the investigation being conducted by the team's parent company, Red Bull GmbH, on Horner. Marko expresses the hope that the ongoing controversy will be swiftly controlled, particularly with the 2024 season approaching. He refrains from commenting on Horner's presence at the RB20 launch, emphasizing a stance of silence until the investigation concludes. Despite the internal investigation and potential distractions, Red Bull signals readiness for the 2024 season with a well-prepared car. Marco underscores the importance of quickly resolving the controversy to maintain stability within the team. With the grid expected to be tighter than last year, as Red Bull is set to witness a season of diminishing returns, Marco hopes that the controversy is controlled before the start of the 2024 season. I hope that we can get our turbulence under control quickly. Fortunately, our car is ready and we are well prepared. When inquired about Horner's attendance at the RB20 launch, Marco chose not to provide any comments related to the ongoing investigation. I can't tell you that, and I can't say anything else on this subject. As long as the investigation is ongoing, or there is no result, you won't hear anything from me. It is an ongoing process. The relationship between Max and Horner is said to have deteriorated. The Dutchman has since responded to the rumors. The story is circulating that Horner and Max and Jos Verstappen do not get along as well. There is said to be an internal power struggle between Helmut Marko and Horner. 
In this, the Verstappens would side with Marco rather than the team principal. Horner already responded that the relationship between him and the three-time world champion is still good. Max also says the relationship is not damaged. It is very good. We have seen each other quite a couple of times. I've been on the simulator. He was also there when we were filming. We have achieved a lot of things together, so that doesn't change suddenly. While Horner himself admitted it was a distraction, Verstappen said he was focused as ever. From my side, I am very focused to get ready, to be fit, to be ready to drive the car. Discussing things with the engineers, what you want to do. Plus my life is not only Formula One. I prefer not to think about F1 too much outside of my scheduled training. There are a lot of things going on in the background for me, and also what I want to do in the future. Also from the virtual side of things that I'm working on, so I'm busy enough. But on his specific relationship with Horner, the Dutchman said it was unchanged. Same as always, I can tell you that. I don't know who likes to write these kinds of things. Me and Christian is like always. Former F1 owner Bernie Ecclestone, who is good friends with Horner, is probably one of the few people in the media standing up for Horner, stressing that he is innocent until proven guilty. Ecclestone, who is reportedly acting as an advisor to Horner during the Red Bull investigation, has publicly responded to the case for the first time. He points out that, at the moment, these are only allegations and the team boss is presumed innocent unless proven guilty. We have been good friends for a long time. He has now been accused. As long as the contrary is not proven, he is innocent. On the fact that Red Bull launched an independent investigation into the team boss, he said the following, Red Bull as a company is in the public eye and needs answers. Although Horner declined to discuss details regarding the ongoing investigation, including a time frame for a resolution, Horner said it had been business as usual for him as Red Bull's team principal, going into the factory each day to help prepare for the new season. He said he has not thought about backing away from his role and added that he would be in Bahrain, which hosts F1 preseason testing and the opening race of the 2024 season. I've built this team. I've convinced people to come here and work here. I enjoy working with the team, with the people. The biggest asset of this team is the people. And that continues to be the case. Horner has been in charge of Red Bull's F1 operation since the energy drink giant acquired the Jaguar team ahead of the 2005 season, making him the sport's longest serving team principal. Under Horner, Red Bull has won seven drivers championships, including each of the last three courtesy of Verstappen, six constructors titles, and 113 Grands Prix. Horner claimed the support of Red Bull's shareholders had been fantastic, noting the commitment to the F1 team and its wider projects, including its future engine program with Ford and its advanced technologies division. We're one team, and that support has been very clear. Red Bull enters the 2024 season as the heavy favorite to defend its titles, and he did not think the ongoing investigation would pose any kind of distraction to its preparations. At moments of uncertainty, it brings the team together. And I've never seen the team more together or more supportive than it is. Everybody's focused on one thing, which is the performance of that car to go out and defend both the world titles that we've worked so hard to achieve over the past couple of years. Should Horner leave his position, voluntarily or not, Jonathan Wheatley, Red Bull's sporting director and F1 rules guru, is said to be in line to replace him. Wheatley joined the team in 2006 after previously working for Benetton and Renault. So, what are your thoughts on this investigation? Let us know in the comments down below, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for the latest F1 news.